mixed in my, my recommendations and this is about some tips on the green screen. So go ahead and hit the hit film there, Willem. Alright, so we got hit films. 3 Express, this is the free version. Uh, anybody can use this one. That's a good tutorial right there, by the way. Yeah. That's basically what we're talking about today. So we got the project settings. So I'm going to look at my footage right now, make sure my project settings on this are the same thing. So I'm just going to right click on it. So this is a, a video that we already did before. This is uh, yeah. Loops a Bitch by Androids. Yeah. And we're just kind of going to show you basically what we did. Yeah. So we got the properties. It's going to give you the uh, diameters of the video and the frame rate, just in case you're not too sure what you recorded on. We did it on my DSLR, so it's 24 frames per second, or 23.976 or whatever. Yeah. So then we're just going to start editing. So when you're doing your green screen, guys, uh, when you set up your green screen, you need to light your green screen separate from the actor. So make sure that you got your good tone of green on the background. And then make sure you got some lights that you can light your actors uh, separately from the green screen. And that would be, I mean, that is a huge step in uh, uh, using the green screen. So I'm actually, me and William, we've put markers on the floor. We're approximately, what, four feet, maybe five feet from the green screen. It may not look like it from the shot, but we're we're some distance away from that green screen. Yeah, um, good rule of thumb that we like to use is um, try and keep your lightings from the green screen and the lightings of you separate. So if you light up your green screen and you're looking at yourself in the camera, if you're lit up, step away from the light. Yeah. Um, right now I'm just going to find a good spot in the video that we made to uh, show you guys how we green screened it. Yeah, we have some lights uh, above to give us some hair light. We got some uh, for our shoulders. We got some lights on the sides to light us. Well, we're, a couple of times we're in the dark a little bit, but, uh, but we got some tricks that uh, at the end of this video to see that we kind of lit up ourselves <coughs> artificially and it helps a lot. Okay, so I got it cut up and right now I am uh, right clicking on it. I'm gonna open, make a new composite shot. I'm just gonna leave it the same name, I'm gonna bother changing it. And I'm gonna hit OK. It's gonna be a composite shot. It's the same length as the shot that I have. So yeah, let's key it out and we'll figure out what's going on with the green screen here. See what, what kind of a key we can get. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to the search bar and just type in green screen. It'll pop it right up. There it is. Green screen key. Click and drag right on top of the movie. Then it's going to add in three effects color difference key, key matte cleaner, and spill removal. So, right now it looks pretty good. There's We don't have a lot of um, green screen spill. Yeah. Hip Films does a, a really good job. And if you just hit the view matte, that's going to show you exactly what's being keyed out. So everything white is what it's showing, and everything black is what it's keying out. And so it's keying out really well. Yeah. So you're not, we're not seeing any weird lines or artifacts or stuff like that. This is matte cleaner, so it's going to go around it, making it look as smooth as possible, feathering out the edges a little bit. Then you got spill removal, which is going to take away the green. Like right now around my robe, you can see a lot of green. As soon as you add that, it takes away that spill. Oh yeah, I can see on the right hand edge. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we got that. So we're gonna put in our uh, our background image. So that's a little bit far away. We can zoom that in a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to controls, transform, then change the scale of it up a little bit. Zoom out of the picture. So there's a little artifacts around the, the sides of us. Yeah, um, you can really see it around Chris's white shirt there. Yeah. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, try some color correction. Yeah, we'll try to match our background. So we'll try that auto and see what it does. A lot of people are against the auto color correcting and, and whatnot, but. But you know what it did is it changed our colors to ma more match the colors of the background. That's gonna yeah. be better when we do a color grading later. Yeah. But you can adjust it. Um, mm -hmm. In other programs like Pinnacle, you can probably adjust it more. This one just has basically two little functions for it. That's looking really good. And it already it brightened up our faces because we didn't light our faces um, perfectly enough in in real, with the real lights. And yeah. so this kind of brightened it up a little bit. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna add in some light wrap. So light wrap will take 
some of the image of the background and wrap it around the foreground, us, and it should take away that line that you see around my shirt, and it should bring some of the background color just a few pixels in. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the source layer and I'm adding the actual image that is behind us. And as you can see around there, our edges there, it adds in an extra sense of light as if the, the light of our surrounding is actually hitting us. Mm -hmm. You're gonna change the blend type to lighten. And then we're just gonna adjust it manually to the radius of how far in it's actually bleeding into yeah look at my hand sides. my hand on your shoulder so yeah. it, that, it went way in when you went way high yeah so then you can change down mm -hmm. the opacity of how much of that you can see yeah so it all <coughs> depends on the shot and what you're trying to blend it in with yeah and then there's the, the black line along chris's thing so what we're going to do is just going to go to clean mat or yeah, matte cleaner and feather it in a little bit more, just the way you can get rid of that. <laughs> if it'll, if it'll keep up with you. Yeah. It's a lot of processing power. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. A little too much. A little too much. That pretty much gets rid of it. Yeah. That looks really smooth. Yeah. Looks no more little black line around Chris's backside there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks more believable that we're there in the desert. Yeah. A little closer. Yeah, pretty good. Our lighting is definitely matching it a lot better mm -hmm. than what it is. We were really dark in the image, and now we blend into it a lot mm -hmm. better. Yeah, and look at the on mm -hmm. my jeans, the, the desert light looks like it's kind of reflecting onto my jeans a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Light wrap. All right, now we're going to trying to add a color gray to it to uh, blend in the uh, the two scenes together. Now, a lot of times uh, William and I use color grading that's within Pinnacle, but uh, there's some color grading in HitFilm. Yeah, um, and since this is just the free version, there's not a whole lot to it. So I'm just using some of the presets that they already have, which just takes everything and it has all of them together. Like for this one, we're just gonna use basic warm because it's in some kind of like desert area and you're gonna believe it's, it looks kind of more reddish and whatnot. But it gives it a whole cinematic thing going on right now. See how yeah. it, it, it did do the warmth, but it also added a yeah. blur. Yeah. I think we're gonna take some of that blur out of there. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of the contrast too because I'm as dark as I want us to be. So that blur definitely adds more of a blur to it, which is not something that we really want, but it does help blend it in so we'll probably just uh, turn it down a little bit the gamma is the one that actually gave it the nice warm, warm color, warm color. Yeah. so we'll just take down the radius of uh, the diffuse or the opacity works too because we don't want it to look like we shot out of focus yeah or we I don't want it to look like it's a dream sequence or something like that it, mm -hmm. nothing nothing too much so we'll just put the opacity up one to me Gives it a nice little glow, mm -hmm. matches everything in, makes it more believable. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now we want, we want that background to look like uh, kind of simulating the depth of field. Yeah, so I mean, we're gonna, gonna add a blur to it. Yeah. Let's make it more believable that it's something that's behind us and not something that's been implanted. So we're, it's going to be a really light blur, so the radius is just going to be one pixel, and then uh, the, uh, was that, irritation? Yeah, of course you can, oh, iteration. Of course you could uh, uh, blur it as much as you want for that depth of field that you're looking for, depending on your shot. Yeah. But we wanted it to be, you know, a little bit, but not, not crazy, but yeah. a little bit of blur. Yeah, so that kind of helps sell the picture. And plus, pictures are much more crisp than what a camera can get because normally pictures are like what, down these 12 megapixels well also it'll be more believable that it was shot with one camera uh, not of course this picture was done on I don't know how that Tatooine picture w what camera took that picture yeah. but I know that our DSLR shot our our footage of me, of me and William in front of the green screen, but doing yeah. all this, giving a little bit of blur and color grading to the whole thing, it makes it more believable that it was shot all on the same with yeah. the same camera. 
So what I'm doing right now is just adding a grain to the picture also. Because since it's a picture, it's not moving. So there is no natural grain that you're going to get in the camera. So I'm adding a grain. So the grain looks like it's on the, on the picture in the background and on us at the same yeah. time. So that since our, our camera is really only, good. Yeah, our camera is only 1080p. So it records only two megapixels. And that picture was probably taken at maybe 24 megapixels. So Could that's be, yeah. Dull it down. But then once you add that grain, it kind of gives it that aspect that, hey, it's it's moving along with us. Mm -hmm. It's not a still image behind us. So. So that is our tip. Yeah. So here it is all set and ready to go. So you can make your green screen shots look a little bit more uh, believable by using some of these tips. Like I, like I said, make sure you're a decent distance from your green screen, light your green screen separate from you, and then have some lights for you. Yeah. And uh, that'll help a lot when you're trying to key this stuff out. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching my, recomm my recommendations on Mixed In. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of uh, information from Mixed In. Don't forget to check out the Mixed In store. The links are gonna be in the description of the video below. Thanks for watching. Later.